Hey all, Alex here at your home of the Music Deep Dive, and today we'll be doing a review of the 2002 biography by T.J. Binion, Pushkin, a biography. Timothy John Binion, born the 18th of February 1936 in Leeds, died the 7th of October 2004 in Whitney, Oxfordshire. After studying Russian during his conscription period as a young adult, Binion entered the field of Russian literature and taught the subject at Wadham College in Oxford for over 30 years. While the Pushkin biography was Binion's first notable full-length book related to his field of study, the man did have other experience in writing, specifically uh, crime novels, another subject that he participated in and also studied as a sort of passion project for most of his adult life. He actually published two crime novels in the 1980s, both of which are, fittingly, set in either Russia or Eastern Europe. But back to Pushkin. This book, this biography here, has a reputation of being the most complete, comprehensive biography of the man ever written in the English language. And I suppose I would agree, but there was one thing that really did surprise me about it. I've mentioned in other reviews of literary biographies that sometimes the actual analysis of these literary works can affect the pacing of the biographies because it causes everything to sort of stop. In this biography, the pacing isn't affected by the analysis because there isn't any. Or at least there isn't much, but Binion makes it evident that his focus is on the social history of Pushkin and his uh, cohorts rather than the literature. It is a discussion of how Pushkin's relationships with his family, his social circles, and the Russian government were affected by his mercurial, sort of hot-headed personality. The result is a lot of pages talking about letters, paraphrased conversations, and various figures in Russian society that come and go from the narrative so rapidly that very few of them leave a mark. Now, I don't believe this is an inherent negative in and of itself, but I don't think this book could properly be appreciated without some level of context for the Russian Empire of the early 19th century. Maybe try out a biography of Tsar Nicholas I before diving into this book. The other thing about this biography that I struggled with is the pacing and specifically the subdivisions of chapters inside of it. As the book draws closer to the end of Pushkin's life, the chapter lengths become longer and longer, going from maybe 20-ish page chapters at the start to 60, 70, or 80 page chapters. The last chapter of the book, which deals with the maybe three or so months before the duel that killed Pushkin in early 1837, is almost 100 pages long. Like, I want you to sit with that for a second. This is about a 600-ish page book, and the final chapter alone is responsible for 100 of those pages. It seems a little bit imbalanced, no? And I don't begrudge Binion for spending a lot of time on that particular period as it is tying up a lot of threads that were started in earlier chapters, and obviously Pushkin's premature death is one of the most famous things about his life, so of course we have to talk about it, but I don't see any excuse really for not dividing these chapters up more. It makes an already dense book turn into an endurance event. Especially in longer books like this, chapter breaks I kind of equate to the idea of having rest stops on an open freeway. And if you don't have those, you're forced to do what is essentially the reading equivalent of driving through the entire state of Montana without stopping once. I'm exaggerating that point for effect, but I did not think that this choice was a smart one. And for as well written as the last chapter was prose-wise, and really the whole book is, uh, it did leave me feeling somewhat resentful towards the author and publisher by the end because of those choices. So yeah, I don't exactly know if I can give this book a ringing endorsement for anyone other than Pushkin enthusiasts. It has a lot going for it, but the flaws are numerous and sizable enough that unless you have skin in the game already because you're on your fifth rereading of Boris Godunov or whatever the case may be, you likely won't be able to overlook those flaws. So for enthusiasts only. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Tell a friend as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time right here at your home of the Music Deep Dive.